citizenship. This war on religious liberty, on your freedom to exercise your religion, on your freedom to associate, on your freedom of expression, is only going to continue. It's going to continue because of an idea, a wrong-headed concept, which President Obama apparently believes. That religious freedom means you have the freedom to worship, and that's all. And this misbegotten, un-American conception of religious liberty, your rights begin and end in the pew. For those, who believe, for those of us who believe in the Great Commission, we know how silly this view is. The president suggests the right to worship and the right to evangelize and freely practice our faiths are the same thing. They are not. They are not what the First Amendment clearly protects. The freedom to practice our faiths and protect our consciences, even if those activities don't happen to incur inside the four walls of a church building. We have the right to practice our faiths. We have the right to protect our consciences no matter where we happen to be. President Obama's limited view of religious freedom led to his administration arguing that people of faith can't even choose their ministers. It's what led the administration to force believers to stop running their businesses according to their beliefs. It's what led Illinois lawmakers to attempt to drive religious organizations out of the public square. And these are only the most public and recent examples. These battles over religious liberty will play out in the future from everything from public licensing to regulatory battles to divorce proceedings. So what can we do, what can we do about this? What can be done about this? What course can we pursue to end this silent war on people of faith? How can we push back against challenges to our religious freedom, which first brought the pilgrims to our shores in the first place? I believe, as in so many of the answers facing our nation, that the answer lies and begins with our states. Governors and state legislators across the country must now embark on a nationwide effort at the state level to protect the rights of believers of all faiths.